but wasn't able to with that lockup. We see Bockel actually with the use of DRS for the first time in this race. Now that we're onto the fourth, they're trying to go around the outside. Maney isn't going to give up though. He knows that he's going to try and tough it out. The road is going to get very tight. Wonderful wheel-to-wheel -wheel action for the lead here. Nice and early in the morning and Maney refusing to give up the lead despite the fact that Bockel actually looks the faster driver at this moment. Thinking about the move, still on the defensive. The Genza ahead of the Trident. The Haas development driver holding off the Frenchman in his first weekend of GP3 action. And there's still wheel-to-wheel, -wheel, nothing between them. This is excellent stuff and Maney, wonderful defensive driving. He's looking out of the car, looking into the wing mirrors, and he's on the inside line. He's going to be super vulnerable now. He's had to be really tight into seven going to have to slightly slow it on the apex. I think he did, you know, tight into nine. He really is taking the defensive line at every core of this racetrack. And there's another DRS zone right now, which you can see with the rear wing open. This is one of the four uses available to him, but Maney is still hanging on. That is masterful stuff. And remember, Maney now has managed to fend off one of the DRS uses around this racetrack. But look how much in the background there. The ART has been able to catch up. That is Hyman who has managed to clear, uh, that is Hubert I should say, who has managed to clear Hyman with Leonardo Porcini setting the fastest lap but way down the field at the very back in 19th. So as the first two battle wonderfully, it's a really important lap for Arjun Maney, who has, managed, who has managed to repel one DRS attack from Boccalacci, but here comes Boccalacci again, and Maney going super defensive, but he's surely not going to be able to defend this time. No, he's still keeping his foot in. I can't believe these two are running so close. And contact between the pair of them there, as Maney gets rude, but on extreme, and somehow he's still got the lead with brilliant defensive driving. As the top four fill your picture, he's determined to hang on. And it's all about the work he does now in this part of the lap. Remember, Boccalacci now having to look in his wing mirrors as well as ahead. Well, I thought he was going to get it done there. Great speed. That was fair stuff from Maney. Great application of the throttle to stay in it. There was the wheel banging that very nearly sent Boccalacci off the road. We're going to see it from his point of view. Wonderful pictures, these. So he was very, very wide indeed down into turn one. And you're going to see the Genza fight back. Ah, he hit the curb. That's what did for him. A little bit of oversteer cost him momentum and gave Maney the chance to respond.